Hi guys, this is Shafqat Nanmut once again in front of you with a new lecture, with a new vision. Today, uh, I'm going to describe the console connectivity of Cisco devices. We will use the console connectivity for router and for switch. So, I'm not uh, wasting your time. Now, uh, here is the cable. This one cable is available in the sky blue color. This is a normal console cable. One side actually um, comes with the RJ45 connector and on the other side here is the DB9 connector. This side we connect on the back side of the router where actually console port is available. Here you see this is the console port. Okay, you can plug this connector here. And DB9 connector, unfortunately, I'm using this computer because latest laptops and latest computers uh, don't offer DB9 port. So here is the DB9 uh, port is available. So I can plug this connector here. So this is a simple connectivity of a console connector for the Cisco router. This option we use if you have the DB9 connector on your laptop or PC, then we use this cable. But if you are using latest laptops or computers, unfortunately DB9 port is no more available on this router, on this laptop you can see here. But USB ports are available here. So, uh, I need a converter. This is USB to DB9 connect converter. This is called RS232. RS232 converter. We need to use this converter. You can plug your console cable here. And now, you can plug this side on the console port of your laptop. And you will see. The sound beep of the laptop shows that this is being detected. Here you see. Okay. This is a converter. But but actually I recommend I recommend the console port which is USB console port. USB console cable. This is USB console cable. Now I am going to connect the router with the laptop. Then I will use the uh, putty software or uh, hyper terminal software for the console communication. Now I am going to use this cable here. This is the console connectivity. Now I will plug the power of the router, turn off the router, power connector plug. Now turn on the router. Here you see. And now when you connect the console cable here, your laptop detects it, and you see, this is my computer, mm, this PC, you see, right click on, get the properties of your system, and check the console port number, COM port number, which is assigned by your system, this is COM7, it means, your system assigned the COM7 number to your USB console port. As we detect, it assigned the COM7 number. Now I am going to use the software, PuTTY software, for the console communication. Here you see, PuTTY. This is the software which is used for the uh, console configuration. Now I am using the serial port. The number is assigned COM7 and the speed is 9600 by default and just click OK and now you can check this is the boot option of your router. So that's all for today's lecture. That was how we can connect the router with your system using console cable and how you can use the PuTTY software for the communication with your router. It's almost done. Uh, let me verify that. Here you see, this is the prompt, router mode. This is the first mode. Now I am going to the second mode. And now I am going to the third mode. I hope you have caught the point. Okay, take care. Inshallah, uh, we will see you in our next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.